isn't measured in promises. It's measured in results. At Rockwell Automation, our 24,000 employees across the globe focus every day on delivering business results for our customers. Because with every result achieved, we realize the promise of expanding human possibilities. That's why we're Rockwell. Our customers make products and deliver solutions that touch all of our lives. And they partner with us to realize measurable, consistent, and profitable business outcomes delivering the real results they and their customers depend on. The people of Rockwell and our vast production technology portfolio make a real difference in industrial production quality, speed, and efficiency. Making a difference in ramping up adequate supplies of life-saving vaccines. Making a difference by helping deliver vehicles that are affordable, efficient, and safe. making a difference by engineering sustainability into every system and solution we deliver. Because at Rockwell, we believe better is possible. And the results we deliver add value for our customers every day, in every industry we serve. Our systems connect your company end-to-end -end with data-fueled insights, improving the decisions that deliver results and expanding human possibilities. Rockwell Automation. Results achieved. Hello, everyone. Welcome to our live stream discussion today. I'm Liz Puchetti, Global Program Manager for Digital Tools at Rockwell Automation, and I'm joined by Principal Engineer Jonathan Johnson. Hey, Liz. How you doing? Um, in this live stream, we'll discuss what is Safety Automation Builder and what has been improved with the tool. How can this free software help you and tie into your overall industrial strat safety strategy? And if you're joining us live, hit the like button, leave a comment, or ask a question to let us know you're tuning in. So to kick off today, Jonathan, can you tell us what is Safety Automation Builder? Sure. Well, well, it is a free digital tool which helps uh, safety system design engineers with all phases of the machinery safety life cycle. Uh, this includes risk assessment, safety function design and development, as well as validation. Thank you so much for introducing the tool. And remind me, you said it's free? It is, yes. That's pretty neat. So it's been around for a bit, but we just recently re-released it with some updates. Can you tell me about some of those improvements? Yeah, yeah. the, the first version of Safety Automation Builder has been around for, for several years. Uh, when we decided to revisit uh, and re review the program, we decided we wanted to add a risk assessment feature to help guide users through hazard identification and risk reduction. Uh, the goal here was to start at step one, which is risk assessment. And we did that um, using the, the design flow process of ISO 12100, which is the, the basic risk assessment uh, standard. And then once you get into the, the notion where safety functions are necessary for risk reduction, we then provide the guidance on the specification and product selection to build out the safety function. A um, couple other facets too, for those customers who are familiar with Integrated Architecture Builder, we've linked it with Safety Automation Builder to help with product selection in the uh, IAB tool. For example, uh, connecting safety input devices to a guard logics uh, input module and, and things of that nature through a graphical design. And of course, we've continued to integrate with proposal works for bill of material generation and things like that. A couple other cool things is we added uh, a graphical a progress bar so that you can see where you are in the design phase. And then we um, basically made it available to navigate the tool to various steps in the design process. So you can hop around uh, in the tool as well as needed. Those are a lot of really good updates. So if you're just joining us, we just heard from Jonathan Johnson about Safety Automation Builder. We recently ran a poll on LinkedIn asking if you performed a safety assessment risk, and the results are in. 34% of you either answered no or tell me more. So we're here today to do just that. So Jonathan, can you tell us a little bit more about some of the other exciting updates to the tool? Yeah, so a few more details on Safety Automation Builder is really that risk assessment documentation and safety function design. So I'll focus a little bit on the risk assessment piece. Uh, for those who are new to risk assessment, 
uh, I would say our tool provides a nice introduction to the risk assessment process. Properly calibrate where it falls. It it's, wouldn't be necessarily used for a full system design type risk assessment, uh, really intended for smaller scale uh, applications um, for, for assessing risk. But what it does is it follows all the traditional safety lifecycle concepts. So the designer uh, can identify uh, tasks and hazards associated with the piece of equipment. We uh, include what are called the risk scoring methods in there, and there are two of them. We included one from the robotics industry, uh, from RIA, which is a graphical design. If you can kind of picture the, the three steps where you have severity and exposure and avoidability and you work through a risk graph. We also included another method called the hazard rating number or HRN method, which is a numerical uh, calculation. So you can choose your own experience, so to speak, in regards to how you want to score your risk. Uh, and then once all the hazards are identified and, and scored appropriately, we have a tool that helps the designer through a series of risk reduction techniques. Uh, safety functions are part of that, but also some examples around guarding as well as administrative methods as well. And of course, uh, the safety functions is where we shine as Rockwell Automation. And so then we provide some guidance on the design of that safety function. So I'll focus on that aspect of the tool as well. Uh, so once the user has identified the required safety functions, um, we kind of work through and we call it an enhanced product selection process. But if you can envision the three block diagram that typically goes with a safety function where it's input block, logic block, output block, um, we use that, that block method and block diagram method to illustrate the safety function. And using that, you can select the products using predefined filters and product selection which will drive you to our more contemporary uh, safety products for both input logic and output. But if you're a legacy user of a particular product, you can then bounce out to the traditional proposal works configurator that you've always been using uh, to configure the products as you need it. And then a couple of other enhancements on top of those two pieces, we added a thing called span of control selection. Uh, that's like a, using a matrix tile method to really establish a cause and effect relationship to define how your safety function operates. So you have, for example, an emergency stop button may drop out two or three hazards. You can make those associations in the span of control matrix, which helps in the, in the later down in the design process. And then of course, risk assessment and safety design is all about the documentation piece of the puzzle, right? And so we've added a risk assessment spreadsheet that can be exported, uh, what's called a safety requirement specification, uh, like an ex a Word document template that can be exported span of control table can be exported. Uh, we have a validation checklist that can be exported. And probably the thing that people really like the most is the documentation around the Systema uh, export. For those who are familiar with Systema, that's a third party software that uh, we, we uh, work with. And, and the Safety Automation Builder tool exports that so that you can do a performance level verification of your safety function. Wow, it sounds like we've added a lot of really great features. So if we haven't given you enough reason to check out this tool, how can you integrate this tool into your overall safety strategy? Well, if you want to learn more, just click on the link that's posted with this information to get the Safety Automation Builder. And of course, with that, there's plenty of documentation and info tips embedded into Safety Automation Builder to get you started designing safety functions. Thank you all for watching and sharing your thoughts in the comments of this live stream. And thank you, Jonathan, for a great conversation. Once again, this is Liz Puchetti, and I want to thank you all for watching. Stay tuned for more about our tools and other resources that roll up under Smart Manufacturing.